TV is changing. The way that we used to have um, TV travel logs, get away, the great outdoors, those shows are, are now going off air and you're finding that you're needing to find different mediums within um, the TV networks on how to get a destination promoted uh, for um, exposure in the market. We are also uh, trying to reach uh, not travel media, I mean food media, nightlife media, lifestyle, fashion, art, because they are really interested in, in what you can offer. TV is the most influential media for Japanese customer to decide the holiday destination. Uh, the TV is still number one influential and powerful medium for Korean market. Um, what we see right now is an involvement of uh, online extensions to TV shows. It's multitasking. You're sitting in front of the TV, you're watching the TV, but then you're reading your Facebook and you're tweeting at the same time. So um, it's really getting your message across, across multiple mediums and actually making an impact. There's this shift towards consuming uh, TV less from a TV and more from a mobile device. And I think that um, means uh, possibly looking at some changes in the way we present content. Brazilians are super fans of internet. We are all over the place, Twitter, Facebook. We are always tweeting. So our journalists tend to share their experiences while in Canada. And TV shows also ha have their Facebook pages and they produce content for these platforms. So we usually integrate all communications with social media. Social media is quite slow, even though Facebook is growing. We, for example, Twitter is not really used. And um... so the door for bloggers is so wide open right now, and there's a lot of, of misuse. So from our end, we're really carefully evaluating the bloggers. We're asking more and more of the bloggers who are coming in, and all media in general. We're giving them our hashtag, Explore Canada. We're asking them to share while they're in the trip, using that hashtag, which legally allows us then to cultivate the content that they're sharing in our other platforms. It's still growing, actually, newspaper. And um, if you take the metro, for example, before entering the metro, you have like three different newspapers that are given to the people. So it's still the number one red media in France. And newspapers are still uh, relevant for Japan, especially for seniors, uh, but the online, uh, has more reach to young people. Um, but print certainly remains um, important. And magazines, uh, perhaps because magazines are more niche or specialist areas, um, those sales don't seem to be declining. We're also seeing uh, online content is being syndicated. So on your newspaper, you might be reading an article, not just from the AP like, or, or um, you know, McClatchy or Reuters or anything like that, you might be reading something that they've taken from smartertravel.com um, or for the, from um, Lonely Planet. But in general, traditional print is, is, is still very popular overall in China to build brand equity. And also because we have a different trend, people, um, more publications are coming into China. Next year, we've got Condé Nast Traveler coming in as well. And a lot of um, monthly publications have gone bi-weekly or weekly because of the amount of advertisement they're getting. So it's still really important. Luxury titles are also very important as well in China. We're all digital omnivores. That's the, I guess, the, the term that's going around these days. Uh, we're consuming these articles online through our iPad, our Android, other tablet-type um, devices.